Hi everyone, I'm Jeff. Uh, I just want to do a, a quick little video on the bow hand um, and how I grip the bow and how that affects how I bring my bow arm up. Um, now, shooting traditionally, I like to push through the shot through the palm of my hand, right here. Um, if uh, you're shooting a compound and you're shooting, you're holding your bow vertically and you're shooting Olympic style um, or shooting sights or gap shooting and you like that bow vertically, that usually means that you're gripping through or you're pushing through the webbing of your hand. And I'm going to show you exactly what, what changes what and why. Um, now, if I'm going to push through my shot, when I, when, I, when I say push through my shot, when I'm, when I'm actually bringing my bow arm up and I'm shooting, if I'm shooting at the camera lens right now, I'm actually pushing this hand, that palm, right through there, through the lens right now. Okay? But the big thing is you'll see this elbow is still horizontal. It's still facing backwards. And that is extremely important. That's what I think it's extremely important for your shooting frame. If I were to push through my palm of my hand, at least the way my physiology is, and I tried to push through vertically, my elbow is facing downwards now. See? And what's the significance of that? Well, if you look at me, I've got a nice solid shooting frame. I'm nice and square. I bring my bow arm up. My elbow is facing the right direction. As soon as I vertically move that bow, that elbow goes down. But I want you to see what happens to this shoulder. Okay, watch this shoulder. When I move that bow vertically, okay, I've rolled the entire shoulder over. And now my shooting frame is not square anymore. With that shooting frame not being square, I can't pull through the shot as well with my back muscles. It affects my back tension. So that's why I naturally, when I naturally bring the bow up, I naturally cant it. It gives me a better sight window, but I naturally cant it just because I push through my shot through the palm of my hand. If I push through the shot through my webbing, then I could hold it vertically without a problem. Okay, but the most important thing is that elbow points backwards so that shoulder doesn't roll on me. As soon as the shoulder rolls, I'm now, my frame's messed up. And I'm out of square. And I can't get proper back tension. Okay. At least that's the way my physiology is. Some people may be able to get away with it. Not me. The other thing I want to talk about is how hard I grip the bow. Okay, I'm getting ready to shoot and I bring my bow arm up. Watch this baby pinky finger. Just the slightest pressure moves my bow. I'm torquing my bow. So I want to keep these, I want to keep a light grip with these fingers on the bow just to hold it upright. I'm pushing through my shot through the palm of my hand. That's what's keeping the bow there, as well as this the push pull. Okay? So as soon as you take your fingers and you start death gripping it, you're going to torque your bow and you're going to throw your shot off. That's why guys that shoot compounds, okay, guys that shoot compounds, if they torque their bow, they'll actually derail it. And the, the strings will come right off the bow. So it's extremely important when shooting not to grip your bow or death grip your bow with your fingers. Just keep them nice and loose and comfortable and push through your shot, regardless of whether you're shooting through your webbing or shooting through the palm of your hand, you push through your shot right into the camera lens. Okay? And that elbow has to be facing back. Um, that's all I had to say. hope it's a quick video. Um, and I guess I'll uh, talk to you all later. Oh, uh, please subscribe to my page. I've got a lot of other tutorial videos which might help and uh, a lot of shooting videos. And uh, everybody have a nice day. Take care. Bye.